Hi guys! Welcome to my channel! <laughs> We're gonna be doing questionnaires regarding my dating life. These are questions that you guys have asked me and I, I don't think I've really answered majority of the questions, but here we have some questions that are organized from like simple questions to like I don't know, extreme questions or intense questions and my assistant's gonna read them for me and I don't know what the questions are, so let's get started. <laughs> Your viewers want to know, how old are you? I'm 99 years young and that is true facts. What is your sexual orientation? I am straight. I am possibly bi curious, but straight. Sadly, unfortunately. Are you sure about that? Are you taken? Um, taken by you if you would like me to. What is your dating situation? I don't understand that question, but I'm not dating at all. I joined Hinge, but the first two people that replied to me were my viewers. So I haven't really been on Hinge since then. Would you date a cowboy? I don't know. If you live in the farm or gonna be in the farm, no thanks. I'm too bougie for that lifestyle. Sorry, babe. Will you date me? No. no not your assistant. The person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, neither for both. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? I actually don't have favorite movies. I'm the type of person to watch amazing, wonderful movies and literally forget it two days later. Would you date someone older than you or younger than you? I mean, age isn't like much, but I think it's like maturity level, but also biologically, I would prefer an older guy just because I feel like his maturity level will probably already be there. As for a younger guy, it probably takes time and a I'm not trying to take care of a child. Would you rather date only your race or any other race? Oh, I'm open. But in terms of like ethnicities, I've been trying to open to like Middle Easterns and South Asians because that's where I'm from. I'm slowly open to that. It's just, it's it's weird. It's like, if I see a guy that's Middle Eastern and he looks like my brother, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm sure he's attractive, but you remind me of my brother a little bit. Do you like guys with dad bods? Come here, baby. Come here. Um, as long as you're working out, like if you purposely are like drinking, you know, like just gaming, uh, dude, like you're not really like active. No, I don't think it's like a physical day. I don't see abs. I'm just like slobbering all over that person. I think it's like the intention of it. Like, what are you doing with your body? Are you like exercising? You know, are you staying active? Are you going out? How important is the man's occupation to you? Occupation, um, you can be doing anything, but as long as you want more out of life and you want more finances and you want to be stable, that's all that matters to me, to be honest. You can have any job, I don't care. What do you look for in a partner? I look for like kind partners, someone who's playful. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Honestly, humor is like a big thing and they have to game. They have to game. That's like big thing. I feel like there's so much to the list to be honest and I would like him to, to have quite a bit of money so he can spoil me. I can spoil myself and I can spoil you too but it would be nice for you to um, spoil me too. And I don't want money to ever be an issue between us. Right. I take care of you and spoil you. Are you looking for a serious long-term relationship? Obviously, everybody wants that eventually, but starting off, I want to like get to know, I want to be friends first. I'm not the type of person to just like start being boyfriend and girlfriend with someone I've just known for like a few months. We need to be like good friends. I need to like trust you as a good friend. Like that's a big thing. Like it's a, it's a lot more intimate for me. What are your thoughts on long distance relationships? No, <laughs> no, I can't. What was your worst dating experience? I don't really have a bad dating experience because I don't think I have been on many dates to be honest. What's the biggest turn on a partner can do that isn't inherently sexual? Okay, well two things popped into my head. When they get like, oh, no it's not supposed to be sexual. You know what? When the guy, like if we're going on a date and we're just hanging out and then he puts like his hand on my hip if he's trying to take care of me or like trying to guide me and he just puts it like on the, my back or like close to my waist. It's very sweet. It's very um caring it's very protective what's the question it's the biggest turn on in a partner that's not sexual it's just physical attributes like smile i love like the smile lines super big big turn on the smile lines and you can tell like eyes too when they smile through their eyes and they don't have to smile with their mouth what's the one chat up line that'll never work on you oh pst, gonna have your number yeah you got snapchat <laughs> Never works, ever. It's like, hey, I'm a different guy. Let's get to know you. Let's go on a date right away. And it's like, I don't know you. I don't feel comfortable with you. Safety is important for me. At what age did you experience sex? I really want to answer this question. <laughs> we were both the same age. All right, no legal activities here. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> what was the weirdest date you've ever been on? 
oh my god, this guy, I told him I'm independent. Never again am I telling a guy this, okay? I'm never telling him I'm independent. And I was like, oh, that's good, that's good. And then we went to the movies, and then, oh yeah, first it was McDonald's, okay? I wanted to grab some food before the movies. And I was like, oh, you're, he didn't bring enough money, and then... I had to pay for it and I was like, oh, okay. And then it came to the movies and he was, he went to the lineup to buy his own movie ticket. And I was like, what, but, but it's the first date. How am I supposed to know you're, you can take care of me, right? It's the first date. He's like, oh, I thought you said you're independent and you like to pay for your own stuff. <laughs> like, not the first date. <laughs> Show me you can like take care of me. Cause obviously, yeah, I can take her myself, but like really the first date, worst. And then he got obsessed with me afterwards. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, never talked to him again. What's the kinkiest thing a partner has ever done to you? And did you like it? Shh, X, 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 next. <laughs> Who was your first boyfriend or girlfriend? And if you could, would you date them again? Oh, first boyfriend. Yeah, no, he has a girlfriend. They're in a happy relationship. Good for him. Yeah, no, I wouldn't date them again, no. How long should a guy last? I mean, I hope he lives up to like 99 with me in this on this earth. I would hope so. Will an awkward, not disastrous first date prevent you from going on a second one? If it's like humorous and awkward, but it goes with the flow, that's fine. But I don't think it will be awkward. I think like when you mesh with someone, it's not awkward. I think when two awkward people come together and they make it flow, it's fluidly awkward. I don't know. I was trying to come up with something. No. How do you like to be approached or approach someone when you're attracted to? So I've usually done the approaching. Um, I'm not really gonna do that again, cause uh, I mean, nothing bad happens, but sometimes guys like think I'm gonna keep approaching them all the time, message them all the time. Like, no, chill, relax. Okay, you're just gonna do that one time. It's a privilege to get approached by me. Wait, what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to be approached oh. or approach someone that you're attracted to? Just honestly, like funny, funny intros like or, or like punny if you come up with like puns or like i don't like to talk about like sexual stuff sexy. um like at the beginning i like to feel safe and get to know you first as a friend and no you're not getting friend zone but like you know friendship is like where the safety is where the you know we're supposed to get along and like know things about each other but when it comes to just about like hails romantic and, and just straight on i'm just like I don't know you. I don't know how to answer this question to be honest, but uh, I think I did. Have you ever dealt with loneliness? And if yes, how do you get over it? I deal with it every single day. Mika does not want to be around me. So I'm lonely. I wanted to hold her. She doesn't want to be held. She's like, that bitch. <laughs> but not in a way where it's like, I have to have a boyfriend type of lonely. She's like, it would be nice to cuddle with somebody, even just a friend, you know, like friends cuddle movies, but it doesn't have to be romantic. But I'm opening up to some romance this year in my life. Yay! Would you date a fan? If they're a crazy fan, like, oh my God, I love you, I you so much. I love you, but not like romantically. I feel like you already have me on a different, we have different dynamics. But if you've watched my stuff, you're like, yeah, you're cool. You know, it's, uh, it's good to know each other. Let's hang out. I'm like, okay. Would you date another creator? I'm slowly opening up to that idea. I feel like a bunch of them are fake. That includes me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good look. <laughs> You're faking a fraud. You know what it is? I just don't want to come home or like after our streaming or like posting videos and creating whatever. I don't want to come back to you and that's all we talk about is just work stuff. And I know what you're talking about. I've never tried it. I've never actually dated within the same workplace. I just find it boring talking about the same stuff. I'm like, I'm finished work. I don't want to talk about work, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe it will be different. What's the most down horrendous, criminally horny DM you've ever gotten? This guy, actually, I do have one last year. They told me to make an ASMR video, but they wanted me to put a tape, like I got kidnapped, okay? It was an email about this guy's like, yeah, can you make an ASMR video? And it was all like business email. And he's like, oh, you just got kidnapped and I'm trying to save you. And they have a computer you're trying to reach to me, but you're muffled, you can't talk, there's tape over, and then you're struggling, your hands are cuffed. And I'm just like, that was scary scary to me and it was like super dark and like i actually got really scared all night i had to turn on all the lights that's criminal yeah because <laughs> technically i got kidnapped does doing of hinder your dating life oh we're talking about of now <laughs> no i think it's made me more confident like i can speak up now i don't want to talk too much about what i do but like i think it's made me feel, made me feel more comfortable with my body and i can like i have more control and it's nice and i can speak up and and it's it's worked on uh, on the dirty talk 
you know? And I'm terrible with dirty talks. Oh my god, I feel so weird. It's getting like <laughs> intense. <laughs> to follow up with the answer, um, the guy has to be comfortable, of course, because I don't think it's my issue because I'm not like, I'm taking care of my customers, right? I'm still going to take care of them. But like the guy who I essentially end up dating, he can't be jealous. I don't date jealousy type. I don't think I've ever really been a jealousy type. If you end up like doing something bad, okay, bye. It's obviously going to hurt me if we're like been there for a long bit. Like, bye. What is your ideal date? I don't know, to be honest. Before, it used to be like going to a restaurant and doing an activity, but I don't mind. Like, I don't know. I haven't been on a date in years. It's only been restaurants because I'm bougie and I like to try different new restaurants. But I don't mind making that like the second or third date. But the first date, I want it to be light and I want to feel like physically comfortable with you. Let's do like a physical activity to break the, the shell. And then after uh, we go to a bougie restaurant because I love food and I think that's great quality time because we get to sit down and talk and like experience food together. And it's such a big thing because I know if you're able to do that, we can travel together. And that's a big thing for me too. What is your love language? Ooh, <laughs> physical touch is number one in order and then quality times number two and I think acts of service might be the third one words of affirmation is a little bit lower in the spectrum that's why like the dirty talk has been like hard for me but yeah like that's all like I that's what's hard for me to do online dating and like to do long distance and, like I need you to physically be present so I, I know you exist and you're not actually a ghost and you're not some AI do horoscopes matter to you when dating no at first <laughs> but you hear so many horoscopes this 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 compatible this compatible and then they start to like oh are we compatible oh what are you oh I think we're incompatible no because I feel like horoscopes are kind of more of like a guidance but they're not like a tell all like people can change it's just certain characteristics like if someone just like is is angry and heated all the time maybe they don't know how to express emotionally maybe they bottle everything up because they didn't they weren't taught to express or like they say virgos virgos judge all the time i'm like yeah i have to judge yes you're judging too watching this i bet you're judging right now like judging doesn't always necessarily mean a bad thing and i'm like i have to judge i'm like how am i supposed to know if i want this or that you have to judge it but i'm not really that judgeful judge Judgeful. Judgeful. <laughs> judge, judge, judge. What are things you feel your partner will have a hard time accepting about you? That I'll always give my work more attention than anything else in my life because I've worked really hard because my partner can leave but my work can't. It's just a, it's a learn it's a, it's a learn lesson I learned. It's a lesson I learned. You definitely don't want to give all all of your attention to someone because they might just leave and you'll have nothing for yourself and you might lose yourself and I don't want to do that. Hey, if my sugar daddy leaves, at least I'll have my own sugar daddy. It's me. What challenges do you see yourself going through dating as a content creator? First, is it's long distance. A lot of creators, like I don't just meet a bunch of creators in my town. Second, it's going to be different genres, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But we can still... Oh, wait, what's the question? Dating as a content creator dating as a content creator yeah kind of like what i said before like you can't be for example like my ex dreamt that i left him for a bunch of my viewers <laughs> it was so sad but like i wouldn't do that but i know how it feel like because i'm so focused on them but i always try to give myself time to my to my partner to my future partner could be you what is it that you picture for you and your partner in the future i don't know i don't have one so i can't picture anything hey do you want to be my partner for the future Sus. What do you think you struggled with in your past relationships? I always want more, okay? I'm a bougie girl. <laughs> um, and I want to date someone who wants more as well. Uh, it, it, and there's nothing wrong for like living like a, you know, simpler life where it's just you have everything. I want to go on this vacation. Not vacation, even if I work there. Like I want to I wanna travel there. I want to eat there. I want to try this experience. And I feel like you have to be up for that adventure. I feel like there's so much good in this world and why not we have such a short life why not give it a try and it would be lovely to share those new experiences with my partner i think it would be beautiful i just i get bored doing netflix and chill all the time it's just not fun it's boring quality time is like also like trying new things with my partner and doing the same things that make us happy why did you decide to start opening up to dating this year i think i finally healed and accepted and shed I was like a snake. I'm just like slithering through. And I think I was so focused on work and I've just been chasing and now I'm just like, all right, I think it's time to open up.
think it's time to be okay that it's okay you're gonna feel some sort of pain you're gonna crush on somebody you're gonna feel heartbreaks again but it's nice to be loved and love someone i feel like it's such an intensity like i want to feel those flutters i want to like be like babe you know there's a little kiss uh, quiz <laughs> a little quest or a little kiss uh, during the day you know i i love i love kissing mika so much just for no reason you know i just i feel like now i have like more um romance and love to share because i think i've shared lots of love with me and i think it's now overflowing and now i'll have lots to give have you guys enjoyed this video it is so different from what i've posted before but uh let me know if you want certain contents like that kind of like get to know me or like a little vlog or i don't know you give me ideas but i was thinking next is like a home tour home is like my little small condo tour where the living room and the kitchen is just literally less than a step away <laughs> but yeah let me know i'm still gonna upload other stuff anyway i feel like i'm blabbing all right thanks for watching make sure you comment your your favorite question answer or how you felt about this video thanks goodbye